assalamu alaikum uh, and welcome back to this course on uh, excel for business analytics and in this lecture we are actually going to talk about how we can actually copy and move worksheets and from an organizational point of view uh, of your data this is actually really important uh, how you can actually copy worksheets and actually how can you move those worksheets uh, and in this topic i would like to talk about three subtopics uh, the first one being that how can you actually uh, make a copy of your worksheet uh, inside your worksheet uh, inside your workbook uh, in, just for the sake of you know probably keeping a copy just for the sake of you know probably working on another iteration of the data that's inside that worksheet or just for the sake of uh, you know probably uh, just audit or record keeping um, then I would like to talk about how you can actually take a worksheet and make a workbook out of it so you can take a particular worksheet out of your Excel workbook and tell Excel to create a separate workbook out of it. You can actually do that as well. Thirdly, you can actually tell Excel to uh, take a worksheet and add it to an existing uh, workbook. So you can also move worksheets between different workbooks. So you have a worksheet in workbook A and you want to uh, move it to uh, workbook B. You can actually do that as well. So let's move to our Excel file. Where we actually do all these experiments uh, and uh, let's try this so, so the first thing that I wanted to uh, you know do right now was to actually uh, give an example of how to actually create uh, an example or create a copy of the worksheet uh, you know inside the workbook that I'm working in so all I need to do is actually right click on my uh, you know uh, on, on, on the worksheet that I want to copy and go to move or copy over here and over here I would actually not care about any of these above over here and just click on create a copy uh, and once I click OK you see that I get a copy uh, of uh, copying and moving worksheets so this is an exact copy of uh, you know this Worksheet. So these both are, you know, uh, sort of uh, sister worksheets. Uh, let me actually give you an example that they are an exact copy. Uh, so let's just add some content to this. A, B, C, one, two, three, and then let's try to create a copy and let's see if the content is also copied or not. So in this copy, you see that the content actually appears uh, similar to the original that is this worksheet. So uh, this is how you can actually create a worksheet, uh, a copy of a worksheet inside your existing workbook. Now moving on, uh, let's assume I want to move this workbook, uh, move this worksheet out of this workbook into a new workbook. So I already have a new workbook opened up named by book one. And I am going to move uh, my uh, copying and moving worksheets to that workbook. Uh, how can I do that? Just simply click right click on this, open up the move or copy option. And then over here, you actually need to select the workbook where you want to move your worksheet. So in this two book, drop, two book drop down, just click over here and select book one because this is where I want to move my uh excel workbook from this uh, uh sorry excel worksheet from this uh, workbook so once you've actually selected that down at the bottom over here you can also select where you want to place this worksheet into that workbook uh but let's just you know move it as of right now if you press okay you see that the original sheet just you know sort of teleported out into my new book one so be reminded that when you move a worksheet it doesn't stay there it, it, there is there is no copy left of that worksheet in the original workbook it actually moves the entire thing over to the new workbook so be sure what you're doing because once you actually move the workbook it actually moves out completely along with the content along with the data without leaving any uh, copy behind uh, into the new workbook uh, now let's just move this workbook back, uh, sorry, worksheet back from the workbook that we created. 
sorry i keep on getting confused between workbook and worksheet you know but let's actually let's just fix that uh, let's move this uh, worksheet uh, back into our original workbook i do the same i have um uh, i i have to select the appropriate book section and talking points was the book that i was actually working in and over here it's actually going to ask me where do you want to place this uh, worksheet back uh, uh, you know so i knew that it's actually somewhere between freezing pain and uh, add and delete uh, add delete hide and add hide sheet so i'm just going to tell it to put it somewhere over here and once i do that you see it actually places it behind freezing paint and this is me actually teleporting that work uh, sheet back into this original workbook now the third uh, thing that i actually wanted to talk about was how can i make a workbook out of this worksheet so you can actually tell excel to make a copy of this uh, worksheet that i have actually clicked upon and make a separate workbook around that worksheet so all you need to do to do that is just right click uh, and go to mover copy and over here in the to book section just tell excel to make a new book out of it and once you do that you see a new workbook book number three opens up along with my worksheet added to it automatically so this is how you actually uh, can uh, you know create uh, or move workbooks in different ways in order to make the organizing of your data a lot easier uh, and uh, you can actually you know move all these three uh, move actually move and use all these three iterations in order to actually effectively manage your uh, workbooks and worksheets i hope you found this information useful and you are going to apply it in uh, you know some of your job roles once you become the data analyst you're actually inspiring or aspiring to become and um, uh, hope to see you in the next lecture